Hey there guys. New box came in the mail, came from UPS today. This is my uh, PreSonus Audio Box 22 VSL, uh, which is a new MIDI interface, uh, basically replacing my old Lexicon Alpha, which I did a lot of work with for the last two years, but it's just uh, you know, it's a good little box, but I just needed to upgrade, so this is this is being tossed or put in the back shelf or maybe being sold on eBay. And now we'll be going to the new unit. So we'll open this up. And there it is. PreSonus Audio Box 22 VSL. Bought it from JNR Music. They're really the only site that had it in stock. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, checking this thing out. So what we'll do is um, I'm going to go through an unboxing of this and then we'll uh, we'll hook it up and uh, check it out. All right. So what we got here is uh, the PreSonus Audio Box 22 VSL. Again from JNR Music, we've got our uh, CD packet and um, manual, but uh, the manual is available online PDF form, so I already got that down and and started to uh, to take a look at it. And then we've got the unit itself. It's got some nice weight to it, definitely well made. There you go. You got your two interfaces. You got your phantom power. Uh, you got your main. You got your uh, your headphones, your mixer, and your two-channel um, uh, gains instrument. Uh, your two two-channel gains. Now on the back, you've uh, basically probably seen this online if you're interested in this box. What's what I'm really excited about um, is the VSL software that basically allows you to. Uh, uh, to premix, which is really cool, uh, and hoping to get some much better um, uh, sound quality using this unit. Um, I can tell you, it's really got nice feel to it. It's definitely well made, um, and uh, you know, let's hope that uh, it lives up to it. So, I also got your USB cable, and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. So, we'll get the software installed, and we'll uh, we'll check out how it uh, how it works. All right. So, two things that were available. That are, that are included in is the uh, the VSL software and also Studio One. I use Mixcraft, but um, I may check this out just to see how it is. So you know, looking at some of the YouTube videos, it looks like a pretty good piece of software. Although I'm pretty used to Mixcraft, but I want to see how it works with us first. But again, this is what I'm really interested in the VSL software. All right, so I got the uh, the PreSonus Audio Box 22 VSL installed. Um, I got to tell you, it was real simple to install. Uh, basically the drivers took about maybe five minutes to install I did have to go to their uh, website and uh, get get the new driver and update that um, so uh, once I did because I was having some problems like it wouldn't start up once I did that I didn't and I haven't had any problems whatsoever so they must have fixed the little glitch with the software but um, took me a little while to sort of get used to it figure this thing figure it out but the 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 method and uh, workflow but it's really uh, quite a powerful unit um, you know because of this the main thing is because of this integrated I'm going to try to show this on the screen here but I'll do a, a an overview of this later with a screenshot uh, but this uh, this VSL software is really cool uh, basically what it is is like a pre a premix uh, for um, signals that are going to your um, uh, DAW so um, you know, basically, you've got I've got two channels here uh, that I can play with, and um, I can basically uh, I have all these settings that uh, you can use to uh, to to set up um, specific gate compression EQ. It also also has a limiter, which is really nice. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that you'd have to have hardware for is built all into the software, and um, the signal actually goes through. 
those DSPs and get sent to your uh, uh, digital uh, audio uh, workstation. I'm basically using this with Mixcraft, um, and it, again, uh, it, it had no problem at all working with Mixcraft 5.2. Uh, once I I did deinstall the Lexicon drivers before I did anything, and then I installed the new drivers. Uh, and uh, once I loaded up Mixcraft, it was basically there. I just had to change the preferences uh, to use um, uh, the uh, audio box drivers, and it was like a piece of cake. Uh, it took me a little while to understand how to get playback and to use the headphone signals and all that stuff, but you know, reading through the manual a little bit, it was uh, pretty straightforward. Um, now what I'm going to do is spend some time playing with uh, the software and uh, the unit itself and do some sample recordings um, and see how it works. I have done a little bit uh, just to get the hang of it but I really want to start to to dig in and use it uh, but I can tell you that uh, compared to the uh, the uh, Lexicon Alpha which I've been using like I said for two years this thing is like 50 times better uh, it just has so many features, it's so flexible, I can just see it really um, um, doing a great job of, uh, uh, of helping with, uh, you know, basically make, make music just sound tons better. So it's a real quality product. I'm really, so far, just, you know, a couple hours of playing with it, I'm really happy. Uh, so next, uh, we're, I'm going to play around a little with it a little bit more, and then we'll put together uh, uh, a quick uh, demo of how to... Uh, uh, set up tracks and use the uh, the DSPs and stuff. Okay. All right, guys. I want to take you to a, through a quick overview of the VSL software, which is the real key component of the of the uh, the 22 VSL. Um, basically, you've got uh, faders or channels for your channel one and channel two. Uh, you've got your return from your uh, DAW. Uh, right here, and then you've also got a rever uh, two effects channels, so uh, basically reverb and delay, or you can actually put whatever you you want on each one. Um, each of these channels has a gate, compressor, and EQ um, cell, if you will, um, and um, that basically allows you to uh, to uh, to drag and drop presets uh, into each one of these tracks. For specific applications, uh, for example, if you've got, uh, I'm going to just reset this. If you've got a voice application, you're going to record a voice, you, a male voice. You can take uh, voice male three, uh, male voice three, I should say, and uh, just drop it right on the track, and that automatically sets up your gate, your compressor, and your EQ. Um, and you can obviously change this if you like uh, to your liking. Uh, low, mid, and high range, or you can do it using the the uh, uh, the, uh, the software uh, pots, if you will. Uh, then you got a compressor. A compressor has a limiter, which is really great for recording uh, vocals and other stuff. Um, and it's got uh, again a bunch of presets for what they call this fat channel. Um, and then you've got a gate, a noise gate, which is also really useful. So basically. Um, Think of this as uh, DSPs, basically your, your voice is coming in on channel 1, it goes to this DSP and if you want it to process you hit post, which basically means that uh, the signal goes through those DSPs and then goes into your recording software. Uh, if you take this off, then um, it won't go in, it won't, it won't record. Uh, but uh, you know, think about it, you've got, you could go out and spend a couple hundred hours on a gate compressor or even a separate EQ for premix and this is all built into the software these are like all the best components of their um, uh, virtual studio live uh, software which is built into like some of their uh, high-end mixers and it's it's really cool to have um, uh, those features and those capabilities on such an inexpensive um, audio interface um, now the way the um, the effects works is this doesn't act. The effects don't actually go to um, your uh, um, uh, DAW. It's basically for the the headphone mix. So just to give the uh, the artist some 
de uh, reverb ambiance or delay to to help them with their performance so so that the mix sounds better and you've got all sorts of capabilities to basically set the mix up uh, with different you know different EQ and stuff um, and that's pretty much it I mean it takes it took a little bit getting used to uh, like you know first I didn't know what these ABs were but basically this means what percentage of the um, FXA and FXB channels that this channel would actually drive to, or I should say bus, that these this channel would actually drive to. Um, so you just, you know, just play with it. I started to play with it and I started to get the hang of it. Um, also, you've got a pan, um, which is, uh, you know, which is nice. Uh, these buttons here are basically for when you select this channel, that's basically saying that's the channel, channel that you're working with. Uh, you can mute it or you can solo it, okay, if you like to. Um, which is kind of cool, um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's got a setup here. I have it set up for uh, uh, 48 uh, kilohertz a sample rate, which is uh, basically um, a little above a CD. You can go to 96 if you like, but I'm using 48. Uh, performance is normal. That's basically CPU related. Uh, if you got a really fast CPU, you can go to fast. But normal, I have not had any latency at all I've done some tests with uh, uh, playback and recording and it's it works perfectly and I've got buffers set to 512 which is basically a recommended setting in the manual uh, make sure you go to the website um, and make sure your drivers are up to date um, I did have to update my driver uh, when I when I first installed the software uh, so that's basically virtual software live um, for the 22 uh, the two port, uh, the two channel um, uh, USB mini audio interface. Again, really, really cool. Um, there's pretty good, pretty good instruction in the owner's manual on how to use it. Uh, it's going to take a little, might take a little bit of time uh, to get used to, but uh, uh, you can see right from this from the get go that it's very, very powerful. Hey, so thanks for watching this whole review. Uh, maybe as I start to use this software a little bit, I might. Uh, uh, put some more stuff up to, to help people use it, but again, it's it's uh, I, I highly recommend it, especially for a low budget studio. Um, Two hundred bucks, you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching, and uh, please comment. Thanks a lot.